I just did 8.14 miles. Yeah! Without stopping, except for at the lights. Because that was when I'm giving myself a break. I'm tired of running when I can rest for a second. So I did. And I ran all the way down to the fire station that's all the way by our mall that is super far. I went by our Winko that was super great. Oh my God. You guys, this run was such a magical run for me. I didn't know if I was gonna make it. I felt like I was gonna stop. Coach Brenda was there and was like, no, no, no. Let's visualize this one differently because today is a different day. My number one supporter. I didn't make it home. <laughs> you guys, look at how fast I am. I'm going fast. A nice little warm up of 10 point, 10 and 11, 10, 11, 904, 856. See, I sped up a little too much. 915, 829. God, I was going downhill probably right here. Um, 845, 840, 835. You guys, I just feel so good. I feel so good to be able to just see these numbers and see that I'm like averaging the great average that I feel that I should be doing almost. I don't know. I'm like the numbers though. I'm like a lot that she working that run. She knows where she's going. She's running for herself. Therapy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Therapy, yeah, yeah. <sighs> so for this guided run, they wanted us to visualize like if we were going to be doing it like it was the race day, but not only visualizing the actual um, wake up morning of, also the run. Every we did thirteen point one k, like if it was thirteen miles. So every K, we had to think of it as a mile. And it kind of confused me because when we were getting to a certain point, when I, we were like at six miles, 10 K, I was like, ooh, almost done. But I wasn't. I was further kind of than I needed to be. So it kind of made it a little more complicated. But I appreciated it now that I think about it. Like every K was just training for the 13 miles that we'll be doing because 13 miles is longer than 13k okay, 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 okay. there's a lot of k's in this and that's okay um but i really had fun i didn't stop at all the only time i did stop was for the lights like i've mentioned and that was just for a quick little stretch or until the little man was told me to keep on going on the little hand thingamabub um, again, I always wear my little pink shorts, Boop. pink shorts that Diana gave me because I feel like she's always with me and I want to remember her and I always think to myself like, okay, just get to the light and don't stop. Diana told me, don't stop. So, Dana, the BBC sister, I always am thinking about that. And thinking of you and you keep me going you keep me going so it was just the nature just being able to see the different trees and different areas of the land that I'm going over and under and up and down the hills and everything it just makes it so much more fun to have and to do I also truly 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 am thankful for my freaking husband who decided to pick me up <laughs> exactly where and when I needed him to because I was too tired and I wanted to run to f excuse me forward instead of um trying to make it up a hill I was like you know what let me just keep going to see if I even can just do 10 miles or more than not 10 miles at least that I can do this whole run like I've gone I and another thing oh yeah huh? they did remind us as well to like think about like back in the day when you did your first long run the first long one was three miles and I was beat and I think I made it I might have made it and thinking of like all the ins and outs the good the bad of that first 
long run. And then thinking of like the next one and the next one and just they just kept having you think about that stuff during the guided so that you can really remember the fact that you've done this before you're just going a little more but you can do as much as you've done and that's really what's getting me to get and go further and not stop is the fact that like at first like he's mentioning in the guided it was three miles and then after that it was five miles it was five and a half miles that I went without stopping and that was just like a couple weeks ago and then it was seven and a half miles just like last week or so that I was able to go without stopping and now I went 8.1 miles without stopping come on now I can definitely do 10 miles I can definitely get up to 10 to 13 miles once I get there I just need to keep practicing and that's okay if I don't if I'm not able to, but I know I can. So there's nothing that really should be stopping me from being able to do what I want and get to where I need to, which is that half marathon without stopping. Oh, I'm so excited about it. Look at this. Are you trying to make yourself comfortable? Okay. Good girl, Mamash. She's so cute. Mm, I love you. I love you. She's like, fine, I'm done. And she walked away. Anyways, um, yeah, the guided was really nice to hear that, to think about that, to visualize the k's as miles for what is to come it, at the during it like i said was a little bit confusing but now that i'm out of it i can understand and get where it is and where it came from and of course if you if i haven't mentioned before i listen to the pandora running station for my runs and i pretty much only listen to that and as i hear every song it's like yes yes we got the beat i got the beat yeah kind of a thing you know any song i just relate to it and it's like it's like questioning me and it's like you know what i'm gonna answer back and i'm gonna answer back by going one foot in front of the other and i'm gonna keep on going and we're running running, running. yeah yeah well we running black eyed peas i got you we got you, Eminem. Lose yourself in the music. Yeah, I lose myself in that. I do, and that's what keeps me going, honestly. <laughs> but I hope you guys have a good day. I'm talking off your ears because I'm excited and happy. And oh my god, I also got a phone call from my friend Lulu. She's doing so much better with her life right now, and she's going in her journey and man oh man i'm so happy for her i'm so happy for her i do always hope and wish that things do turn out for the best and that's one person i was really worried about and now knowing that i just finished running eight miles and she's getting better in her life man to hear like oh i have a doctor's appointment and then i'm gonna call to go to an aa meeting yes please honey get there get your life straight and she's trying just like i'm trying just because my try is a different try than her try doesn't mean that we're both not trying to do something better with our lives <sighs> it feels so good it feels so good to be able to know that i have a struggle that is hard she has a struggle that's harder but I mean, we're all just living our lives and going forward, and that's what really matters, and that's what's happening with these runs for me. So, I appreciate you guys for listening every time. Um, make sure you guys subscribe because I'm trying to get monetized eventually, so it'd be pretty cool to be able to say that I'm actually partnered with somebody because, like, it didn't work out with Twitch because they were too too much and i just well it was hard but i would love to do it with youtube and you guys because this is actually something that i'm passionate about 
and I want to find more runs and I'm also eventually going to be doing a full marathon in November so I'm going to skip a couple weeks for the Nike and um, see where I am and then try to get that one in and then finish that one up so I can continue on to a full marathon and we'll see how that one goes um and yeah i hope you guys have a good day and i will see you on the next one okay bye